Well, this little chicken survived, but we did catch Bucky. Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. I'm Mike with Fowler Family Farm. If you just saw the intro, that's right. We caught Bucky in the act this time. And I got more on that here in a minute, but let's get to what I really wanted to do a video on was this place right here. Uh, so this is, uh, I just found this place. It's in Norman, Oklahoma. It's locally owned. They got about five locations in the metro area. I think it's either four or five. I can't remember which they, they told me. Uh, they're thinking about expanding even further south a little bit or further north. Uh, not quite sure, but they got great prices. I went in, let me show you what I got real quick. Okay, so I got two of these bags here. They're 50 pound bags, 16% protein, 2.5% fat, and then some fiber. That's 50 uh, pound bags. It's Neutrina, by the way. I got two of those for my chickens for now. I just want to make sure they eat it before I buy too much of it. But it was only $14.99 a bag for 50 pounds. I think it's $14.99 a bag at Tractor Supply for 40 pounds. And if y'all remember last year, my chickens stopped laying for a while because of that feed, I thought. I mean, I still think it had something to do with it. I also got a 25 pound bag of black oil sunflower seed. And then this is just a kind of like an all stock feed. I'm gonna use that on the goats and see how they like it. And it was only, it's a 50 pound bag again. Uh, it's 14% protein, which is okay for goats. That was only $14.99 a bag as well. So not bad, not a bad price for this feed. Uh, it's a new place. It's called Cook's Feed and Outdoor. There goes Brennan. <laughs> you could have said hi. Uh -huh. <laughs> I said you could. Oh, you did? I want to interrupt. Oh, okay. Um, oh, before I forget, I got to show y'all Rhineland. Today is trick-or-treat day. We don't call it Halloween around here. It's just trick-or-treat day. She's dressed up, got some makeup on. She's really cute. So Hopefully I don't forget to show y'all before this video is over. She's adorable. So she is going to go trick-or-treating tonight. Um, but anyway, I want to get started on this feed. I got to uh, replenish the feed for both chickens, both group of chickens. And while I'm doing that, I'll talk to you about Bucky. Um, it's not going to be good news probably though. We'll just have to see. Oh, well, so, hello you two play my Christmas. Well, there you go. Good job. She came out before I got started with the feed. So look at that y'all. Look how pretty she is. So who are you? Ariel. Ariel. Okay, I think they'll know who that is. Oh, look at you. So you're going trick or treating? Yeah. Are you gonna have fun? Yeah. Yeah, I bet you are. When are y'all leaving? Uh, right now maybe. Right now maybe. Okay. Maybe later. Yeah, here comes your mom and dad. Yeah. All right, yeah. love you. Well, what? Ha have fun. Snail. Snail. Oh, you got me. No pounds. Snail. Oh, you got to get your, oh, I want to see you with your wig on. Okay, so I'm going to do what I've been doing here lately a lot, is mixing the black oil sunflower seed with this, just the regular chicken feed. Let me kind of, uh, well, that actually doesn't show. Well, you can kind of read that there if you want, if you want to uh, get a better look at what I'm actually feeding them. And then, hopefully y'all can see this. This is the actual ingredients and how much of a percentage is in there. And if y'all are local to Oklahoma and the Oklahoma area, especially in central Oklahoma, I did not really know about this store. It's locally owned, like I was saying earlier. And the store in Norman is really nice. It's actually between Norman and Moore. It's on 178th right off of I-35. It's actually a very nice store. Um, they specialize in horses. So if you're local and you have horses, this is a good spot. Um, and you, if you already, if you have horses, you probably already know about them because they do specialize in horses. But they do carry a lot of chicken and dog feed as well. A lot of the premium dog feeds. All right, I did already feed these chickens some of their stuff that was already in here. So by the way, the, the chicken that y'all saw at the beginning of the video, the intro, I'm gonna go ahead and run that whole clip through for you now. Well, this little chicken survived, but we did catch Bucky chasing this chicken and pulled out a bunch of tail feathers out in the pasture. He was chasing her all over the yard. Now Bucky ran off the property because we, we chased Bucky. So I think we know the results of yesterday's video. I'm gonna go put her in McDonald's group since she's a hen. 
She's a little cutie. I didn't get on video Bucky chasing the chicken because we were actually driving down the driveway when we saw it. And Brennan saw it at the same time up here at the house. So he was running at Bucky. I stopped and ran after Bucky. Bucky took off running down the driveway. Didn't get any of that on video, but I did go catch the chicken that he was attacking. Um, I showed you that in the video. Put her in here. So let me show you. She's probably still in the coop. Let's just look right through here. Yeah, she's, you see her inside the uh, egg laying box? Let me zoom in real quick. That's her. She's probably missing over half of her tail feathers. And another bad situation about this is Brennan found another chicken dead today. So as of now, we have actually pinned Bucky up. We're gonna try to decide what to do with him. We'll keep talking about this throughout the video though. Okay, so I'm just gonna continue mixing these two in the trash can, get it all mixed in. Uh, and this will last them probably this amount of chickens, probably a good three weeks, probably, I would say. Now the other chickens, there was, well, <laughs> there was 24 yesterday, so there should be 22 today. So we'll go see and make sure, but I haven't went over there yet. Millie, were you a witness? Were you a witness to the crime? All right, I gotta get started. By the way, y'all, I'm doing this all with my left hand. I'm leaving my right hand out of it because that right elbow is what I hurt at work not too long ago. And I went to see the specialist today and he recommended rehab and physical therapy. So no surgery, so that's good. He wants me to come back four weeks after some rehab, physical therapy, and uh, recheck it. So that's a blessing. That's really good. I didn't want, I did not want to have surgery. That'll last a little while. Okay, lids on, secured. Just got to carry this. That's a 25 pound bag, remember, so it's not too heavy. I can carry that with my left hand. We will take it down to the white chickens down there in the barn with another bag of feed. My restriction on my right arm is 15 pounds. So I can, I can hold or use my arm up to 15 pound capacity, so. Uh, for 30 more days. Hopefully that's efficient, good enough to let it heal. I did keep this door locked all day just in case it was a predator, but it looks like it was Bucky. Not good news to report on that front. Okay, so I'm just gonna repeat the process over here in the barn for these chickens. <laughs> gonna mix a bag of feed plus some uh, black hole sunflower seeds with that and then feed them out. I'll show you me feeding them and talk about them for a little bit. If y'all can't tell, I'm kind of disappointed just a little bit. You invest in these dogs and you want them to do good. And uh, that's a big rooster for flying. <laughs> it felt like it was really close. Anyway, we'll talk about this here in a minute. You're always up there. Yeah, you're gonna get down, aren't you? Yeah. Oh, somebody took your spot. King of the waterer. This is a queen though. Queen of the waterer. I need to catch you and put you with Donald. Okay, so I caught me another legger and hen. So that'll be two today that I get to put over there with Donald's group. I mentioned it in the previous video, I wanted to take some of these legger and hens and put them over here with Donald's group because they're gonna be good egg layers eventually. Probably not this winter, but they just started laying really. But next year, she's gonna produce a lot of eggs for us. Huh, girl? Yeah. Hey, stop backing me. She was an angry little elf. Yeah, that's her right there. See, there's the three original white chickens. Oh my gosh, what the heck? What is going on? How did y'all get out? Well, that's a problem. 
I did not expect to see all my goats running at me. They're all out. So that's Megatron's group. Every one of them are out. And they were all just now in. So, huh, I'm gonna have to go see what happened. I bet one of them went for it, knocked some wires loose or something. We'll have to go check it out. There's craziness on the farm all over the place today. Melly, chill out. They're gonna eat up on this green grass though, look at them. They are happy. They've been getting hay lately. All right, well, one problem at a time. I'll deal with that here in a minute. All right, I still have not fed these chickens. I just grabbed that one legger and then walked her over here real quick. I wanna go back and feed them real quick, get that part taken care of. I did mix all the feed. So all I gotta do is scoop it out and feed it to them real quick. Then I wanna run over and put some hay in, in for the goats that just got out. That might be why they're out. Cause I uh, need to put hay in their feeder. Really? What are you waiting on? You wanna go in there? <laughs> That's why she wanted in. She knew there was a chicken in here. You're gonna have to get out, buddy. That's a rooster. Hey, wrong way, buddy. Go that way. Okay, so I'm just gonna feed them real quick and that will get this rooster out. Yeah, don't you jump in there. Oh. Another problem. That did not spread out very well. It stayed right there together. Hey buddy, this is not a buffet. You're only allowed to eat what I throw out on the ground. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Well, I thought I just recorded me grabbing this dude, but I didn't hit record. He's not happy. He wanted all he could eat, buffet. Let's throw him in there with the girls, the rest of them. Go over there and eat, buddy. Oh, scared a bunch of them, didn't I? Oh. Are you gonna be able to behave in there? Don't you crawl out of there tonight either. Yeah, you're in trouble, buddy. So just so you know, when I saw Bucky chasing that chicken earlier, it was not a playful chase. And Bucky's not missing a meal, he's getting fed. So there's no reason for him to be doing this all of a sudden. So, oh, you know what? Before I feed this, before I put hay in the feeder, I wanna run over here See if I can figure out how these goats got out. I mean, all this fence looks good. Uh, yeah, that's a problem. Well, that's like that real low right here together. I bet it's like that because they went through the fence over here, which stretched the wire somewhere and pulled those closer together. see here oh yeah they went right under yeah they pulled this one up so one of the goats went under which pulled this one up out of the ground because it's so moist right now it's easy and they all just went under I bet <sighs> all right I gotta go turn the fence off They've, they've left you, buddy. You're by yourself. At least you're not getting picked on. So before I even attempt to fix this, I'm gonna turn the fence off. Y'all remember what happened to me about, I don't know, two or three videos ago, where I got shocked. And actually I got tased because the, the actual electric fence got me plus the uh, cattle panel, I touched it at the same time and it got me. So it was like getting tased, whew, it hurt. Fence is off, I should not get shocked. A little buckling followed me that way. And now he didn't come back with me. 
All right, this should be a simple fix, but problem is they know where they got out now. So hopefully they don't continue to do this. And it could just be the fact that, you know, this is where our water, this is our drainage right here. I mean, y'all may not be able to tell, but we have a lot of water rush through here. So it could have been that it pushed all these sticks. I don't know, actually we had a lot of these sticks here anyway. All right, that's all it takes, just a quick fix. But I am gonna put some sticks under there just to help try to prevent it. Okay, I also added one more step in post, brought it a little closer to the ground. We should be good here. So if you guys have goats of your own, you know the simple way of getting these goats back in is just with grain. Shouldn't take much at all. Just a little bit of grain, they'll come back in and hopefully they stay. I gotta just make sure the little babies stay out. Millie, that's not your food, come on. Get out of there, come on. That's your lanus. Come on. Come on, you can make it. Come on. Millie, it's open, come on. <laughs> what are you doing? Come on, Millie, come on. Come on, you can do it. <laughs> what are you doing? Come on. <laughs> uh, at least there's some humor on the farm every once in a while. Millie, come on. Pretty simple. You just gotta walk through. We think Yelena's in heat again. Millie, that's Yelena's food. Come on. Come on. That's not yours. No, Millie. Millie, no. So today is Tuesday. I thought Yelena was getting fixed today. Millie. Let me put Yelena in. Come on, Yelena. Yelena, come on. Get back, Millie. Yelena, go. Go on. Good girl. Okay, I don't like to shut that gate because I like for Yelena to get in and out. I just don't like to, everything getting over there to eat her food. So anyway, what was I saying? Oh yeah, Elena, I thought Elena was supposed to get fixed today, Tuesday, but actually she gets fixed this Friday. So we are having her fixed. All right, time for this. And then I'll turn the fence back on. Hey, it's kind of funny y'all. I'm gonna tell y'all a quick little comment story from yesterday's video, which thank you guys a lot for leaving me some good comments. Most of you think I should just keep the video and just do a voiceover. A few of you said, don't waste your time. Uh, you know, just do a new video, which makes sense to me too. But one of the funniest comments from yesterday was actually on Facebook. And I get a lot of good comments from this person. Her name's Kathy. But Kathy asked, or actually she didn't ask, she said, she doesn't get it. She's like, have you homesteaders never heard of a pitchfork? Because we're always picking stuff up off the ground. It makes sense. But I do have a pitchfork and I use it all the time. But I only have one. And it's up there at the other end of the property. So I don't walk up there to go grab it. The main reason is because my biggest hay problem's always been up there. Because that, that pot, that, bell is loose like this and I do the same thing I put it in a feeder like this and I clean my mess up with the pitchfork well now I got two piles doing the same thing so really I need two pitchforks I'll probably buy me a new pitchfork just for you Kathy <laughs> oh and also Kathy um, Tanya put a comment in about no personal ads on our channel that was not meant for your post or your comment, that was meant for a totally different comment. We don't understand why it showed up on your comment because it actually made it to the right comment from a totally separate video. We just don't understand why it showed up twice. It's kind of weird. So Kathy, that uh, personal ad comment Tanya put on your comment like where she replied, that was not meant for you. Sorry about that.
I do like working with this hay when it's a little wet like this. It's not as dusty. It's still dusty, but not as bad. That's Goliath. And that's one of my mini lorries. I don't know what it is with my ducks, but I have like four of them that I swear switch colors constantly. Like this duck did not look like this two weeks ago, I don't think. I don't remember seeing this duck. And it's not a new duck, but it's just like different colors are popping out. It may be a winter thing. Like maybe they're losing certain feathers. Certain feathers are coming in for winter, I don't know. I'm not a duck person, I don't know. I don't know much about ducks. Millie, what are you doing? That's not your food. Now you can't figure out how to get out again. Come on, get out, come on. Come on. Really? Come on. <laughs> how are you scared of this? <sighs> You're a farm dog, figure things out. Thank you. Stay out of there. Okay, stay out of there. Okay, y'all, I'm pretty much done with some of my chores other than getting the goats back in. Got the hay in for now. Remember, from my previous video, I did say that I would fix that on my set of days off. I just kind of, you know, I'd have to invest some time in fixing that. And I don't want to do it on a day where I know I got to go to work. I still want to spend some time with Tanya this evening. Uh, we probably need to go eat dinner, you know, here at the house. So I want to grab these goats, put them in, but I want to do that off camera. You guys have seen that a lot. Let me know what you guys would do in this situation though. I know Bucky's the culprit now. I don't know if I mentioned it earlier, but Brendan did find another chicken dead. Hadn't been eaten yet, but it was already dead. It was missing its head. Definitely wasn't a raccoon, which you would think it would be. It is windy. Hopefully you guys don't hear this wind because it is really bad. Let me get out of the wind. Okay, so anyway, let me know what you would do in this situation. We're certain it's Bucky now. I just witnessed it. And if we wouldn't have been there, he would have killed a second chicken today, like two in just one day. And I probably need to recount. I did not count over there. I should have recounted. Uh, I don't know. It's not a good situation. Uh, usually when those dogs figure out that they can kill a chicken and eat a chicken and it tastes good, it's hard to get them to stop. I've already mentioned some options to my son. It's his dog. Uh, regardless, he won't be here around my chickens. He's either going to have to build a pen and put him up where he's going to build his house, but he's going to have to, I mean, if he's going to take that risk, he's going to learn to either how to train them or he's going to learn not to train them and just in the problem because and don't get me wrong i'm not talking about just kill the dog i'm talking about fix the situation by maybe taking the dog to someone who uh has only large animals but needs a dog that's what i'm talking about uh, but hey there is a lot of people i mean i know of a lot of farmers that would not hesitate to put that dog down i mean i do know that's a fact out there and people will do that at the same time this is my food not his I give him food. We give him food every day. This is not his food. So anyway, I could go on for a while and I know a lot of y'all are gonna be against what I say and <laughs> some of you are gonna like what I say, some of you are gonna hate what I say right now, but or what I'm saying right now. So anyway, it's a problem. We're gonna have to fix it one way or another. Um, there's plenty of big farms over here that have just cows or horses or large goats um, that could probably use a dog. I'll just leave it at that. All right, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you share them. Share them with your family and your friends. I'm trying to get my videos out there seen a little more often. Uh, it really helped me out. All right, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe if you're not subscribed already, and leave me a comment. We'll see y'all in the next one. Remember, do the good. Feller family farm. Come on.